This is a good one. This is a good one. Mm-hmm. Who's sitting in the front seat? Your girlfriend or your mother? It depends on how long we've been together. <laughs> it depends. So what's the what's the time frame for you? It depends on who was in the car first. <laughs> okay. So it depends on a lot of stuff. So say like, your girlfriend in the car first. Y'all picking up your mom. Talk to me about that. What you feel like? You feel like your mom should just go straight to the back seat? I feel like it would be kind of crazy <laughs> for either one to come up to the car and try to kick the other one out the front seat first of all. Like if if we dating and like I'm in love with this girl or whatever the case may be, I feel like it should be a certain respect my mom and my girl should have for each other to not even make that a thing. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, it should that's not what, even be a thing. That's what I was about to oh, rip I was about to say. No matter who's in the front seat, the woman, whether it's my mom or my wife, they're going to off rip offer for the other one to go to the front seat. Mm-hmm. Like my woman should off rip be walking to the back once we park the car. Especially the be walking to the back seat girl. and be like, I'm letting your mom sit up in the front. Yeah. Off rip. That's how I feel like well, it should be. What if y'all just sitting in a car? Like what if y'all picking the other one up? You in the car with your girl, you in the car mm-hmm. with your mom, and y'all picking the other one up. That's what I'm saying. I pull up, bro, I drive in front of my mom crib, mm-hmm. my girl in the passenger. I feel like my girl should off rip, get out the car and go to the back and be like, I'm letting your mom sit in front. And knowing my mom, she's going to be like, sweetie, what you doing back there? Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> come get in the front. Like, yeah. uh-uh. And then they're going to go back and forth about it. And then one of them is going to come to a conclusion that whoever's sitting in the front. Yeah, I feel like that too. Because I feel like, like my girl should already know. But I also think it's this. If it's my girlfriend, is different than it's my wife. Mm-hmm. I think it's completely different, bro. So, I feel like if it's my wife, we married. Your mom's is not going. That means we have. That means we have a family, right? Or planning on it. On that, you mm-hmm. feel me? Yeah, right. So my mom is my family and my first family. You feel me? But my like my mom gonna respect that. Like this is my family now like mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying i feel yeah, like it's you, different once you get married like, yeah like once you get married your wife is the number one exactly that's what i'm saying like, girlfriend your mom is sure. still number one but once you get married yes and got your own family stuff wife definitely becomes number one woman for sure that's what i think too yeah i feel that i feel like if we just dating my girl should offer i get in the back seat like i don't want you to but Knowing how moms is, they probably gonna say no anyway. But just right. the fact that you offered and didn't feel entitled to it or exactly. nothing like that. Exactly. You feel me? You have to true. you have to at least offer. You have to put that in the air, like because now if my mom coming to the car and she just <clears throat> walking straight to the back seat, that's crazy to me. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at you like you're not even gonna offer. But me, I might just be in the back. Tell my shorty to drive. Now I'm in the back. Now we got no problems. I mean, speaking on parents and parents, and, you know, mom and right. parents and stuff like that. Boosie, <laughs> video just dropped. <laughs> Him saying, you know, to you know, his daughter got a, a boyfriend or something now. Right. Saying to the boy, you can do, you know, whatever to my daughter. Just don't hit her. I mean, you could cheat on her. You could, you know, whatever, lie to her, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just don't hit her. How you feel about that video? Because I, I understand what he's trying to Respectfully. say. Respectfully. He always says wild things, but the principle of what he's saying, I understand. Respectfully. So, what's, what's your reaction to that? Oh, my daughter. You're not cheating on my daughter. But you got to realize gonna, what he's saying it from. Like I got, like, it's going to have, like, yeah. you feel me? I know. Like, you feel me? I'm knowing. But, like, I respect it. Mm-hmm. But that's a fact. Don't put your hands on her. That's number one. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Don't nah. Not saying you could cheat on her, but like, if yeah, you're gonna young, do anything, something. Yeah, yeah. If you're gonna do anything, <laughs> you, yeah, just don't put sure. your hands on. Because young, young, I know something gonna happen. Yeah, like, you feel me? I know something bound to happen. Okay, that's a good one right there. Arrest her now. <laughs> this is my question for you, bro. Because I go through the, I go through this, and like, we both fifth years. You feel me? Which right. means next year, 
we got the same goal and most likely the same plans to mm-hmm. play pro next year. So now my question is, should you prioritize your relationship over your career? Never. <laughs> Never, okay. Never, bro. Okay. Never, bro. That's dumb, bro. Okay. That's one of the dumbest things people be doing. Okay. Like, I feel like it's 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 really – I can't really think of no scenario where you would have to, like, prioritize your relationship over your career outside of, like, you have to move to a whole other part of the world. Like, that's the only case I could possibly kind of understand. I was going to say, because I think, I think it's different with males and females just because, like, we are the providers – and like traditionally and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I feel like as a woman, it's more normal for them to prioritize their career for their relationship, for their family they want to grow, for their love that they, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like they depend on us. They still have their work and do they, what they're supposed to they do. You're saying they prioritize their relationship over yes. their career. I feel like, yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I'm saying. I feel like they, I don't want this to sound sexist, but I feel like they should more than we should just because we're the providers if that makes sense so say you find your one right now bro right like let's say you find a one and like you about to play pro overseas next year mm-hmm. you feel me now for y'all to work realistically something has to happen somebody gotta give i feel what you're saying somebody gotta give you by the end of the day you playing pro bro like you the one at the end of the day gonna be making that bag mm-hmm. years from now whenever it is you gonna be making that bag not saying she's not and not saying she don't have her own stuff going on right but if she if you was to be in a relationship right now bro i'm pretty sure that girl will have to say i'm willing to come with you overseas mm-hmm. to start a family because what 20 you feel me we now we getting into the mid-20s yeah now it's time to really <laughs> You feel me? Get and now serious. I'm on the other side of the world. Exactly. Settle Time down. Time difference. Some. Exactly. But you're Long not about distance, to sit here. Yeah. And, exactly. You feel me? So it's like, I feel like it's more normal for girls to prioritize their relationship over their career. And it should be that way. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. Just because men are providers and like us, especially, bro, like in a position we are now, like being in something serious, next year, years from now, we will have to know that like, this girl is willing to ride with us. Same way how everybody in the league, bro, if you think about it, like, yeah. <laughs> Kobe, what, Vanessa, like, LeBron, wife, like, Savannah, like, you feel me? They had to stop what they was doing, pull up with mm-hmm. Braun to Cleveland, like, you feel me? Getting a apartment. They already had kids, so they had to watch the kids. Now, you get what I'm saying? That's just how I feel about that. Yeah. I feel like it's definitely, like, on both ends, it's an investment. Like, to be able to to have to, like, up and move year. Because, you know, some dudes in the league and even overseas stay in a different place every year. For sure, exactly. To have to up and leave every year, it's hard. But I feel like if y'all really locked in, it's an understanding that, you know, as the man, you're going to provide for her and make sure she's taken care of. I feel like that's the sacrifice, you know, women have to take. To, but, to have the family they want. Yeah. And the family, like, you know I mean? I agree, bro. But I don't know. I, I be thinking about that a lot because, you know, we getting older we now. in that situation for real. Like, like next year is coming. Like, if I'm serious with it, girl, you got to be coming with me. Like, yeah. You feel me? Like, oh. And we also get to that age where we got to, you know, the little boy games and stuff is getting, you know, too old for us. Like, we got to find somebody that's serious. But, like, do I want to have to go through that? Like, finding... First, you got to find the one that you think is the right girl for you and then have to deal with that situation of, well, would she want to travel with me while I'm playing professional basketball? Like, do I want to have to have that conversation about her from, like, coming overseas with me? Like, mm-hmm. like stuff like that. I don't know. That's why sometimes I shy away from even getting into yeah, yeah, all of that. I, I don't even want to find the one. Yeah. And then have to like get dead it because get of that. All that. Exactly. Yeah. But I was about to say, we finding the one, it's got to be now. That's the I don't want to say I, it's got to be. It got to be but now. Like, like 25, 30, bro, that's late. Yeah. Bro. Like, that's late. Like, yeah, I feel that, bro. That's late, bro. I ain't going to lie. That's the other side of the coin, bro. Like, 
the longer like yeah the longer this shit go the by. longer it's going by like yeah. time is being wasted no cap you might not never find that one mm-hmm. Like, you know, most people coming out of college already have in mind the, the one that one person that they can see themselves with, you know? Like, I feel like through college, a lot of people get married right after college. For sure. Or like a couple years after college. Yeah, facts. Because they done did whatever they did in the early years of college, back in that college, found one person that they can see themselves with, and either right after they get married or a couple more years of them living together on their own, they mm-hmm. get married, mm-hmm. and like we in that, that just we in that range. Like I don't know, but I'm not in no rush to get married or find the one because I feel like if, if if somebody's out there for you, you gonna find them for sure. You know, but I think it gets harder the older you get. So how um, long after she been your girlfriend? How long does she gotta live with you until y'all f- could get married? So y'all feel like y'all could be a family. So, she can, I'm not gonna say she can move in. She probably already moved in. But mm-hmm. how long? And before I know that she that we, we could yes, do that, we could get exactly, married. Exactly, exactly. I say us living together for at least at least a year, mm-hmm. depending on how long we're dating. It's kind of crazy. What? That's too early. That's late. That's late. Because a whole you're, year of because living. Listen, yeah, now you're year. saying you want to know she's the one. So that next girl you talk to, she got to... It's gonna take her already six months to even start living with you. Right. <laughs> so, so now say the first girl not the one. Now you start talking to a new girl. Six, it's gonna take her months. months. It's gonna take her months. I'm about to say six months is kind of early just to move up and move in with somebody. So okay, like I feel like if you if you make the decision to come live with me, we're locked locked <laughs> into a certain extent. Okay, so so you feel like that's too soon. Six months. It's too soon to just be. T- I feel like to move in with somebody. If I'm talking that's to crazy, you, bro. bro. If I'm talking to you for six months, I'm not saying a long distance thing. That could be confusing as well. Because if you live near me, oh, we we same state, same. You feel me? That changes everything. That's what I'm thinking right now. That's I'm thinking good. that we close to each other, so you visiting every day. We seeing each other every day. Right. That's what I'm thinking. So for this six months, we seen each other almost every day. We locked. Are y'all dating for six months? Or are you included talking leading up to dating? I'm including talking leading up to it. You're crazy. Bro. <laughs> You're, crazy. <laughs> up to it. You're crazy, bro. Okay, so six months. Think about that. The first two Because I I feel like I feel like we talking for how long, bro? I'm not talk like if you if we close to each other, I'm talking to you for a week or two. Now we're seeing each other, getting to know Whoa. each other. A week or two before you do what? No, no, no. Not saying it getting exclusive. Okay. I'm saying if you're close to me, you live three minutes from me. Right. We're talking for like a week or two or even less until we see each other. Now we go on a date. That's what I think you mean when you say dating. I'm thinking you mean on a date. I don't think you have to be dating to be on a date. I'm thinking you say I'm thinking you mean like going on a date and like you feel me? Doing things, going on dates, multiple dates. Nah. But you're saying making you my girlfriend. Yes, the one, the point where y'all are boyfriend and girlfriend, that's dating. Oh, okay, you yeah. Be talking that's to more than six months. Dates. That's gonna take more than six months. Right. But I'm, I think you mean like dating, as in like going on dates and you feel me, experiencing each other out. So when you said talking, I'm thinking we just texting, we just like on the phone. Uh, uh, nah, talking and then we is see like each other. everything up until y'all make it official. Like we're dating. It's me and you. We're in a relationship. Yeah, in a relationship. Okay. Yeah, we're boyfriend girlfriend. That's okay, I mean. yeah, yeah. See, that's okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Now I understand what you're saying. I don't know you talking about general dating. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you could just mean going on dates. Okay, feel me? Seeing how things go. But so when? Right, I was about to say. So how long do she has to be your girlfriend? How long does she have to be your girlfriend? How long I don't do know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. How long bro. do y'all have to be living with each other until she can be your wife? You said a year. Which and that's that? after we already been dating. And for how like that's a just year a year of dating. And then a year. Think of about you being it like, like all right, so talking talking can be anywhere from like two months to six months. Like 
the first two months y'all talking we're going on dates though right yeah you're going on dates okay. but like y'all might not be exclusive until like month two or three exclusive yeah like not messing <laughs> with nobody because oh, while okay, you're talking okay. you, bro i'm thinking when you say exclusive i'm thinking you mean boyfriend from girlfriend no. Okay, I mean, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Go ahead, though. Go ahead. Say what you said. Y'all could be exclusive without dating. Okay, you know? <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> y'all might be, y'all might just be talking, texting, going on dates or whatever. But y'all might, you might be like, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to do whatever you want. But we just going to make it work when we get together for like two, three months. So she could be doing what she like. She could be getting. I mean, you never know. <laughs> you never know. We Y'all might could say something, but. You know, right. you're not gonna feel that pressure to not do something until like two, three months in, when y'all be like, "All right, right like we sure. we serious about making this happen." Sure. So, y'all dating, bro? I don't even know, bro. How long you gotta date somebody before you even think about moving in with them? Yeah, I but say this like, is what I'm thinking though. I feel like if we're dating, we're seeing each other consistently. That's different than living with somebody. I know completely, yeah. completely. But I'm saying. You damn near living with me. Because in my scenario of me dating like a girl, she lives close to me. She's class, work, whatever, mm -hmm. to me. But it's a whole different level, bro. It's like the difference between talking and like being boyfriend and girlfriend. Like she might come over to your crib. She might be at the crib all the time. But when y'all living together, right. money involved. For sure. Who like food and stuff is involved, living space, how y'all clean up, it's like all that comes into play. Like she might be coming over, but it's still your crib. You gotta pay the rent, mm -hmm. pay all the bills, right. put stuff in the fridge, clean the crib and stuff like that. Like when y'all living together, y'all both both doing that. You feel me? Like right. both mm. gotta figure out a way to pay the bills both got to figure out a way who gonna put the who gonna go grocery shopping like okay. I don't know that's a whole different so now y'all dating I don't know I she don't... moves in with you it's a new question she mm -hmm. moves in with you how are bills like being paid for is it just you paying bills still a hundred percent if I got it right I pay a hundred percent okay I don't care if I got it I'm paying you you obviously got it because you've been paying a hundred percent that's what I'm saying right yeah that's Obviously. Right. But like if, I don't know, like if we, I don't know, if I somehow don't have it and for like, I need, I feel like 50-50 should be, it should be no argument about 50-50. But if I just, if I got it though, I'm going to do 100. Like. I think that it should be, I feel like girls get very comfortable. Mm -hmm. So now if you paying the bids for two, three months in a row and now you don't got it, it might throw her off. Now she might be like, "Hold on now." <laughs> she if, might be like, "If oh, you paying it for two to three months, that fourth month you don't got it." She's like, "What happened?" You should ask yourself what happened. Why you don't got it this, this <laughs> month? <laughs> like, like, why you? Why you all of a sudden don't got it? You feel me? It, it. But I feel what you're saying though, because like, bro, girls get comfortable in like get used to patterns so quickly bro like you be talking to a girl on the phone all the time the one two days you stop talking to her on the phone that's a problem now you cheating mm -hmm. <laughs> now you doing something you're not supposed to be doing like no like i don't know i would do 50 50 until i couldn't do 50 50 no more until like, i could just handle it myself that's how i feel but her thing is going to be, you've been handling it yourself. Be smooth. Like, what are you talking about? You've been handling it yourself. Yeah. You feel me? So, like, what has changed yeah, now? Yeah, okay. That's what she's going to say. Okay, okay, okay. That's, That's what she's going to tell you. Like, you've been handling it yourself. I mean. I feel like I'm paying for everything. You cooking and cleaning and. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's the other half of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you do if I'm paying for everything. And you walk in prison yeah. for once, like, every day. Cooking, cleaning, all that. You got to handle that. But that's a fair trade off, though. Like, I don't see a problem yeah, with that. Sure. Like, if I'm doing, if I'm taking care, like, making sure we got a house, you just take care of it. Hold on. My mom calling me. Ma. You. <laughs> I'm doing a podcast right now. Say what's up to YouTube. You got a question for me? What's one question? What's one question you would think of that like we right now we talking about it's me and B. Say what's up. What's good, man? I right, look, say say like it's it's about it's about like 
girls, boys. It's about like living with each other, who should pay bills. It's about all this type of stuff. So like, what you think? How you feel if you move the man in with you and you was paying bills 100% before, how you feel like he should pay your bills or like chip in? Like how you feel about that? Me? Yeah, he moving in with you. One, I'm not letting anyone move in with me. <laughs> That's one. Okay. Place together. What'd you say? I'm not letting anyone move in with me. We would have to get a place together. We would have to find a place together. Mm. Mm -mm. That's why I'm saying the 50 -50. wise words from Mom Dukes. <laughs> That's why I kept saying fifty fifty because most likely y'all probably gonna have to find a place together. Instead of like one moving in with the other. Yeah. All right. But listen to this scenario. It's a scenario. That's all it is. I'm living dolo, got my own apartment somewhere. Okay. Me and this girl was talking for however long. Then we started. She was my girl. Wait. Oh, I got this question for you. How long do you think? Because we were just talking about this. How long do you think a guy and a girl should be in a relationship before either one moves in with them? Or what? It all depends. Um, you gotta get to know someone first. Okay. But, um, but I feel like if I made her my girlfriend, I already know her. Okay. Okay. You really don't though, bro. If you made so why would I make her my girlfriend? It's it's situations y'all gotta go through as boyfriend and girlfriend sure. before you really know. Before you see the real. Yeah. Her. Before you see the real. Yeah. That's true. You get what I'm saying? So it all depends. That's kind of crazy. You that's true. Ma, that's crazy right there. What you just said is crazy. Say that one more time for me. Say that one more time. Say that one more time for me, Ma. Say that one more time. You got to follow your heart and your gut is never going to disappoint you. Ma, you got to say what you just said one more time. You can know somebody for how long? You can know, you can know someone for five years and not know them. Hmm. So you got to follow your heart and always trust your gut. <laughs> Always ask God to give you, to reveal whatever. Always ask God to reveal whatever that you don't see. Right. You understand? That's a fact. It doesn't matter. Time, you know, time waits for no one. If you feel it, you got to go with the flow. Michelle, <laughs> go with the flow. But you always got to, you know what I mean? You got to go with the flow. But like I said, you can know someone for five years, ten years, and not know them. That's crazy. And then you can know somebody for a year, and you feel like you know them forever. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. So, yeah. So, it all depends. That's a fact. I'm going to call you later, though, Ma. I appreciate that. Mikey, this is not being recorded, right? It is. <laughs> <laughs> you will be in my next YouTube video. <laughs> Like, you don't do that. You would be in my next that was, YouTube That was video. good advice, though. I was, I was like, you know what I'm saying? saying? No, Mikey, don't do that. You're going to be in my next YouTube video, bro. I was just calling you to let you know I saw the um, vlog, and I was like, ah. You seen it? You liked it? Yes, I loved it. All right, man. We coming with more Mikey, of that. Mikey, I don't want you to record this. We coming with more of that, and you're going to be in the next one. This one is like a podcast me and B doing. And we just talking for real. We got some questions from like the little Instagram, and we got some we just thought of. So, okay, well, good luck. Thank good you. Luck, good luck, and I wish y'all all the best. All right, go to sleep. I'm gonna hit you okay. later. Okay. All right, good bro. Night. Love you. Love you too. Later. That's the fact, bro. Five years though. They need to hear that. You might not know him. You might not know her. Y'all might be dating for crazy, five though. years. That made me never want to date again. I'm not gonna lie, mom. <laughs> he said, "Not gonna lie, mom." Not gonna lie, mom. Never want to talk to nobody again. That made me never want to date again. Never date again. <laughs> not gonna lie, mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. We gotta get off that. Look. Yeah, I don't got no answer for any of those questions. Yeah, it's hard. Guys. That's hard. I yeah. feel like you just, like she said, you gotta trust your gut. Yeah. So now, like, this is a good one. Do you feel like you have to disclose your sexual history to your partner? No. No. <laughs> and not even on that. But...